Hello, Namaste. This video is related to the ray diagram of image formed by the concave lens, and the topic is taken from the Unit 5 Light of Science book for Great Train. And this is specially designed to support the SE preparing student during this lockdown period. I hope you will love it. Now we start our lesson. Okay. Uh, to draw the image formed by concave lens, we have to draw the ray diagram, especially the ray diagram of the image formed by concave lens. Uh, now, to draw the ray diagram, first of all, uh, we draw the concave lens. So, in previous videos, we have drawn the ray diagram formed by the convex lens. But this is a time uh, we are going to draw the image formed by the concave lens. So, first we draw a concave lens. Uh, look at Here, now we have a scale, we align the scale in a straight position and then we draw a straight line, like this, say it is the X and Y. And then we fixed a optical center, this line would be the principal axis of the lens. And this is the optical center of the lens. So now we measure the focal length of the concave lens. Uh, it is not given in the questions or in this problem, so we choose it as a three centimeter. Okay, measure that three centimeter. Look at here, three centimeter, and then tick the measure of 3 cm from this O, 2 times to the left and 1 times on the right, inside of Y. Because in case of uh, concave lens, we don't need 2 F to this side, because the light is focused on the same side of object. You know, it is negative. The Concave lens diverts the light rays. Okay, now we draw lens for that. Keep the needle point here and take the arc length less than OF. Okay, similarly from other side also, take the same arc. And now join these two arcs like this. On the other side also, here concave lens is drawn. Okay, now to draw the image we first fix the object uh, let us uh, fix the object between f and 2f and remember that the object should be the height of the object should be less than the height of the lens above you know height of lens above the principal axis this height is you know this height less than this height okay so we take this height like this here This is the object, say AB. And then we draw a parallel line through from A, parallel line from A or parallel line to the principal axis, the principal 
axis okay yeah this is the parallel line okay now the ray from a is parallel to principal axis now we refract the light rays look at here so this point axis of lens and parallel rays and the focal point align the scale to the same straight line and then extend the light rays because the concave lens diverts the light rays and it focuses to the same side of the object at f okay f at the same side of object so now next we draw another light rays from a through o so this do not bends because of law of refraction now we determine the position of the image the position of image is formed in the point of intersection of these two light rays okay so we draw a perpendicular line from that point of intersection to the principal axis and this point would be the image of a a prime and that foot of this perpendicular is the image of b because the the light rays incident on principal axis goes straight so the image of b is foot of the perpendicular drawn from a prime so this is the image of b a prime so now this complete the ray diagram of the image formed by the concave lens now we discuss about the uh, characteristics of the image first one is the first characteristics look at here the size of image is smaller than the object that is why images is images diminished the second one is images virtual why it is virtual let us see so this image is formed on the same side of the object you know in other words if we keep the screen here suppose this is a screen suppose this is a screen this image cannot be formed on this screen this cannot be casted on the screen so the image is virtual virtual image is formed okay and the another characteristic is the image is formed above of the principal axis so image is erected okay and the object and uh, sorry object and image both are formed on the same side object and image are in same side of the lens okay this completes our diagram ray diagram i hope you have satisfied this video this lesson Thank you for watching this video.